Hey, it's Min from The Art of Verbal War again, where people learn to excel in verbal skills. So today we're going to talk about how to think on your feet, one of the most essential life skills and one that as a corporate lawyer, I have to bring every day, I have to constantly nurture because it's essential to my survival in my career and at work. So last night I was watching the pilot episode of Suits. So there's a scene where Harvey Specter, who's the main character of the show, is recruiting for a new associate. And he's interviewing Harvard Law School graduates. And at one point he comes out of the interview room, he looks totally defeated. He's interviewed about 10 different people from Harvard Law School and he doesn't like any of them because basically he thinks they're stiffs. He actually didn't even want to go to the recruiting event. So he tells Donna, who's his assistant, to screen candidates before she sends them in to meet with him. And he tells Donna, give him a hard time and then give me a wink if somebody says anything clever. So let me tell you, my friends, this is very consistent with reality. Yes, I know on a TV show things are a little more dramatized. So when I was a young lawyer, maybe two or three years out of law school interviewing for jobs, I had met with the CEO and head portfolio manager of a hedge fund. So he comes in, I'm sitting there, he doesn't shake my hand, he sits down, he takes a glance at my resume and he kind of tosses it aside. And then he says, you have two minutes to impress me, go. And at that time, I totally didn't expect, I'd never been through an interview like that. And so I didn't get the job because I wasn't prepared for that. And also, at the time, wasn't very good at thinking on my feet. So let's talk about how to think on your feet. So number one, the most important thing before we get to what to say is, you have to start learning to expect that people will put you on your heels in life. Not just in interviews, but in business, in work, maybe even in relationships. So you have to expect that and start accepting the fact that you will be put in these situations. And that's okay. In fact, start looking at these negative situations as opportunities. Pretty much as opportunities to be cool. Number two. Whenever someone fires something at you and they put you back on your heels, remember to maintain what I call the winner's body language. You're not going to slump over, you're not going to lose eye contact, and you're not going to show in any way that you've been thrown off. And number three, let's talk about what to say. So let's go back to the pilot episode of Suits where Harvey is asking Donna to pre-screen the candidates before she sends them into the interview room to meet with him. So Donna meets with the first candidate and says, So, Chip. Why should I let the whitest person I've ever seen into this room? And the guy is totally thrown off. He's like, uh, uh, because I have an appointment? So when Harvey comes out, he's like looking at her like, and Don is basically like, mm, no way. And Harvey's like, oh, great. So he basically meets with that guy and sends him out quickly. So what do you think Chip should have done instead? Well, the key to these kind of situations is to roll with the punches. Instead of just replying logically, which is what he did, well, uh, because I have an appointment. So instead of doing that, you want to reply illogically. You don't want to reply directly to the accusation or attack that's been made. All you're trying to do is to show that you're confident and that you can roll with the punches and come up with something clever to say. It doesn't have to be amazing, but you don't want to fall into the trap of responding directly. So Chip could have just said something like, well, we don't have to go in there. We could just do the interview out here. Simple as that. Okay, so let's talk about the second candidate that Donna meets with. So the guy comes strolling in and Donna says, what's wrong with you? You look like you're 11 years old. And the guy, and the guy responds like this, well, I was late to puberty. He's like totally hurt by what Donna says and he's totally thrown off. So again, Harvey comes out and Donna's like, mm-mm. And Harvey's like, great, and yet another stiff. He could have just said something silly like this to show that he was rolling with the punches. Oh wow, these diapers are working great. I'm still fresh and dry after that comment. So remember, people will always try to throw you off in various situations. They don't do this just because they're jerks. They do this because they want to test your wit, they want to test your cleverness, and they want to test your poise, most importantly. All right, that's it for today. I hope that was helpful. Remember, roll with the punches and keep being excellent. And please subscribe to this YouTube channel.